Buddy, welcome in today's video. In today's video, we are going to try and predict the Bitcoin price using everything but Bitcoin charts. It's going to be very interesting, guys. We have some interesting breakout, potential breakout on the S&P 500, which can maybe even signal a liquidation event over in Bitcoin. We got the signal over on Dixie where we have been talking about in previous videos. So yeah, guys, let's just dive straight into it. Uh, what we know actually is that, first of all, it's very important that you drop a thumbs up on this video. As you all know, that really determines how much people are going to watch this video. The growth of this community all depends on you pressing, pressing that thumbs up button, guys. That's why it's so much appreciated uh, whenever you guys doing that. And drop a comment if you are new. Make sure to subscribe. All those stuff is highly, highly appreciated. And it's providing your favorite host with fresh new energy to create new videos. Guys, when we have a look at the S&P 500, we actually see something very interesting, okay? Normally, we are looking at sideways channels. We have rising channels, declining channels. But now we got kind of a megaphone pattern. We got a declining support. We got a declining resistance. But it is a broadening pattern, which basically is known to be a megaphone pattern. And this megaphone pattern right now shows very interesting... Um, yeah, interesting signal basically because we are testing the middle of the channel and as you guys know with rising and declining channels the middle of the channel is crucial so i apply this right here as well we can see that the middle of the channel is acting as resistance acting as support once we broke below it as you can see right here we got a massive dump we, it acted as resistance going back down to the support then we broke above it go directly to the top then right here we can see break below act as resistance go to the bottom get another test as act as resistance lose this level go to the bottom again the the moment we broke back above the middle we directly went up to the top again right now we are actually basically touching the middle so if if the s p 500 wants to bounce we actually got to do that right now. But there is a big but because we haven't only, uh, we are not only right now testing this major level. No, we also have a potential uh, head and shoulders formation with a yeah left shoulder right here, head in the middle, right shoulder right there, which we broke the neckline from. And the target of this head and shoulders formation is, of course, the width of the head till the neckline put at the breakout. That would be roughly slightly above the support of the declining support right here from this bigger megaphone pattern so this is actually quite bearish but i don't think we are there yet i think it's too early to say right now if we got a decisive break out of this head and shoulders formation uh, or of the middle of the uh, megaphone pattern but we are seeing the first signals we got to be prepared for that uh, whenever that happens if we do see this break of the middle right here going down testing then most likely be going to test this level if we lose that level we most likely will get a very sharp drop because then we are going to test levels which we haven't seen since yeah november of 2020 so that is actually quite crazy if you compare it on the s p 500 that could definitely trigger a big liquidation event also on bitcoin as well so that is a uh, scenario that i'm watching if the s p 500 continues to show uncertainty right here we might get that liquidation event uh, we do get the relative strength index trending up still having a kind of uptrend right here if we go to the four hour time frame we do have some signals as well let me zoom in for you guys right here we got here you guys can see that shoulder formation a little bit more broader but what we do get right here guys is we got some gaps we have a gap right here a gap down we also got a gap down right here well this gap down is a little bit better ex yeah better for an explanation because that is aligning with the resistance so we could see something like this but this gap up is a little bit more difficult to explain because if we were to reach that gap up then we were to break above that neckline from that head and shoulders formation again so this is also the signal that i'm giving to you the signal that i'm watching if we do go up and we get rejected from this level 3900 right here and we lose this level 3840 
then that is definitely very bearish and showing us that on the S&P 500 we could be seeing way lower levels however if we can break above 3900 and get back above the neckline from the head and shoulders formation then things are actually start to look quite good again and let's go to the dixie guys um but wait before i'm going to jump with you in the dixie with the signal i've been sharing with you in the previous video i quickly want to give every single one of you a reminder that if you are interested in trading bitcoin i have four exchanges down below this video where you can sign up using my affiliate link down below where you can get bonuses of up to roughly 17 thousand us dollars and we got on buy bit 4500 us dollars and a discount on your fees using this link to sign up and meeting the deposit requirements we got a new one on bitget and we still got some spot uh, some spot left for all the uh, people who want to sign up on bitget the first 100 signups uh, they will get this major bonus but they will get as well a 10% uh, deposit bonus so with a deposit of 1000 us dollars you will already get a free 100 us dollars to trade with we got prime xpt with a 7000 us dollar bonus using this specific code and we got famix with a 1200 us dollar bonus all the traders that are interested in that make sure to find out these links down below uh, because if you later can uh, prove that you are trading with one of these use ideas which you sign up through this link you'll be able to get a extra future which soon will be announced over on will portal that brings me to the following uh, thing guys we got a youtube channel for will portal right now it has 63 subscribers we need to pump up those numbers make sure to go to this youtube channel the link is down below in the description make sure to watch this video this is explaining the most basic chart that we have on will portal and this channel will publish more and more tutorials on how to use will portal and i can tell you already right now a lot of exciting things are actually happening we are going to add another chart to will portal very very soon which can help you predict shorter term time frame price movements uh, i'm not going to uh, tell yet what the chart is going to be but make sure to yeah, follow will portal right here also make sure to follow will portal on twitter as we announce almost everything and even extra share extra ta over there um the link to the twitter page is down below in the description you can also just look at will portal on twitter then guys let's go to the dixie and what we have been talking about in the dixie is that we potentially had a breakout out of the declining resistance on the four hour time frame and we didn't we basically didn't got that breakout and this is one of the more bullish signals right now in crypto uh, is that this dixie is starting to look like it is losing momentum and as you guys know the dixie and crypto is a do have a inverse correlation which means that when the dixie looks strong crypto goes down and the other way around as well right now the dixie starts to look a little bit like it's losing bullish momentum and let me tell you why since right here we can see that we actually create higher highs in the price but we created lower highs in the relative strength index right here but also right now we are seeing here we get a higher high but in the relative strength index we get a lower high and that is actually looking like we could be forming some form of a rising wedge formation right here we don't have a clear breakout yet definitely not but we could eventually be seeing something like the dixie breaking out to the downside right here and if we break out to the downside then that would definitely mean uh, that there will be more buying pressure coming in to bitcoin and crypto but i'm gonna have to say if we have a look at the bitcoin dominance that the buying pressure most likely will be more into bitcoin uh, rather than crypto if you if you ask me like where where would you concentrate your funds on in crypto right now i would say i would definitely say bitcoin the bitcoin dominance is super low and it's testing a just tested a major level it makes sense for this to trend up and once this is trending up it means that the liquidity in the crypto markets concentrated in bitcoin which basically means that bitcoin is outperforming altcoins so in my opinion it's not really the way to go to right now heavily invest into altcoins but wait till this number goes a bit up and then look for nice altcoin opportunities again of course there are always exceptions 
don't get me wrong this is never such deterministic right there are always exceptions some altcoins may outperform bitcoin but there is a high risk as well as you guys know on this channel we mainly focus on the price action of bitcoin as it is easier to predict the bitcoin price action guys that was it for today's video if you haven't done so already make sure very much make sure to smash up that like button very much appreciate it if you have any questions drop them in the comment section down below if you have any positive or negative comments you just want to share something i always like that i read all of your comments just show them post them down below and yeah i just love to read them and really appreciate all of your engagement guys i want to wish you all a awesome sunday and i hope to see every single one of you in the next video